Hey everybody, Mike with 720 Vending here today for our weekly collection video. Going through my warehouse location, it's got some few empty coils. Need some bear claws and some pop tarts and chips this week. I got one broken coil in there and working on getting repaired. Let's check on the soda as soon as I can get the side open. <laughs> Uh, looks like we need some Dr. Pepper this week. Everything else looks like it's doing pretty well. I was here just a week ago. Here's it all restocked. Dr. Pepper added. Now we'll get over to the collection. Someone always told me to leave a quarter in the bucket for good luck. So every machine since I've been doing this, I've been doing that. And this week we collected sixty-seven fifty from here in one week. Up next is my Dixie Narco three sixty eight at my apartment complex. Everything's not doing too bad. Looks like I need some Mountain Dew here. Let's get a 12 pack in there. This machine I converted from a single price machine to a multi price. I'm just waiting on the credit card reader to show up for it. All restocked with uh, another case of Mountain Dew in it. Can't forget to close the gate. Don't want any jams. Get my tools out of the way. I did make this wiring harness from scratch, so hence the multicolors and the new sleeving and all the cables. For the collection this week, between cash and change, I am actually looking at forty-six seventy-five between cash and change this week. So, not too bad for one week for an apartment complex. And this is an elderly apartment complex. They do love their soda. Get that closed up. Within a few weeks, I hope to have the credit card reader here. Go ahead and open up the snack machine. This is my uh, AP7600 with a card reader on it. A few empty coils. Realized after I got here that I was out of pistachios. So I'll have some more next week as well as peanut butter M&Ms. And for some people that uh, have issues with their bill boxes, if your machine has this uh, spring-loaded hinge on there, it helps. I've determined that not every machine has it, but apparently this one does. Let's get it all restocked. More cookies and more chips. They love their grandma's chips here. As well as their V8, they go through a lot of that. For this machine this week, between cash and credit cards, we did fifty-two fifty-five in cash and change, and seven dollars and twenty-five cents in credit cards this week. 
So not too bad. Get the bill box put back in there. And don't forget to hit the restock button to reset the, ca the cash counts. Up next, we're here at my hotel location. This is one of three machines in the hotel. It's got a few empty coils. Not looking too bad. Get some bear claws in there. And a few bags of chips. It's not doing too bad for the week. We've got first aid kits, charging cables, uh, shaving kits, shampoo, conditioner, things like that in here as well. Let's go ahead and get the change collected. For this machine, I collected $40.80 for the week. For this machine. Between cash and change. Got through the quarter in there. Having some trouble getting that dug out. There's the cash. And then right behind it is my USI um, CB300. Let's get it open and see what it did this week. Uh, looks like I'm out of Gatorade and bottled water. Did not have a bottled well with me, but I will be bringing it back off camera. Got the Gatorade restocked with what I had. Those things were good for one more week. For a collection on this machine for the week, I did... few quarters, but between cash and change, I collected, let's see, $60.30 this week for this machine. Get all that dumped in there. Sorry for blocking the view. Drop the bills. Had a nice fat stack of bills there. And then up here, I'm a, we're on the third floor machine. This one has a credit card reader. This is a 21 selection USI. With the drink side, I got through enough Gatorade to warrant two columns in this machine. But this week was a slow week. Coke went through a lot. Dr. Pepper and Mountain Dew did as well. Gatorade's all restocked. Coke's restocked. And Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper are also restocked. This machine went through... Let me see here. 96.20 in cash and change. And $71 in credit cards 
for a total of, let's see here, the total was 167.20 for one week between cash and credit cards. Get the cash stack out of there. Oops, forgot to hit the restock button. Gotta do that. Next we have one of my mobile home parks. This is a Dixie Narco 501, which was converted to um, the E-Series from the old MPC series. Looks like we're low on Coke, Pepsi, Mountain Dew, Sprite, Monster, and I think I have enough Dr. Pepper to get through one more week. Here's everything all restocked. Threw a few cases of everything in there. Get it all closed up. For cash and change this week, I collected $62.30 in cash and change and $7.50 in credit cards. <clears throat> Nice little stack there. Here we are at another mobile home park. This was actually my first machine, and it got cleaned out this week. So it needs just about everything. Well, except for root beer. But except for root beer, it's getting everything. Here we are all restocked. Look at all that change. Quarter waterfall. Throw the one quarter back. And then as for cash, so between cash and change for this one week, it was $150. There was fives in there as well. Here's my other machine at the same park. This is a Dixie Narco 320 that has been converted. It accepts pay from pay range, as well as it will do credit cards here eventually. Hey look, change in the return. Never a bad thing. Looks like we're doing good on Dr. Pepper. Need some Lipton Brisk. Some Monster Sprite. And a little bit of everything else. Here's everything stocked back up. few extras in the Dr. Pepper slot just to keep them stored. As for change this week, a 
between cash and change, we did 67.70 this week. Total collected for this week, 644.10 and 85.75 in credit cards. Not a bad haul for one week between nine machines. Thank you. Like and subscribe. Have a good day.